Fluoride is often added to drinking water, and a little bit can help reduce levels of tooth decay. Too much fluoride, though, can lead to a crippling disease called skeletal fluorosis. Bones are attacked by the fluoride, and when children drink water with too much fluoride in, in the long term, they can actually end up with very uh, severe skeletal deformities. Naturally occurring fluoride levels in the drinking water in the Tanzanian town of Oldonio Sambu are more than 60 times the recommended level in the U.S. Children and adults have been affected. In addition to spine and limb curvature, skeletal fluorosis causes chronic pain and poor cognitive development in children. The effect of the fluoride also goes to the, to the mental activity of the, of the children. You can see a number of children have big legs, you can see, uh, big heads, like this one. Uh, the, the head is oversized, it's abnormal. And it is said it, it affected the mental activity of the, of, of the child as well. Researchers at the University of Bath have developed a molecule that, when added to water, changes color from purple to blue within minutes if fluoride levels are too high. It doesn't require a laboratory. It doesn't require any specialist equipment. It doesn't require a person who's been highly trained to use any equipment. Uh, it doesn't require a power supply. In fact, it doesn't even require the user to be literate. Six-year-old Kurianga, whose condition is so severe he needs a makeshift cane to walk, is undergoing corrective surgery in Moshi. The bath researchers hope their work will prevent future generations from suffering from the same disability. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.